Good evening to our students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends of Lees McRae. Thank you for giving me your attention this evening. A formal State of the College address is a new concept for us. As many aspects of our normal operations have been affected by COVID-19, we canceled our traditional welcome back meeting for faculty and staff, and our customary fall convocation was not held. This adaptation gives me a new opportunity to speak to the entire community. My remarks will not only provide updates on the health and the challenges that face Lees McRae, but also my great optimism for our future. There is no doubt that the current situation facing all of higher education is unprecedented in modern times. Not only are we faced with the extreme disruptions of a global pandemic, but we do so while public questions persist about the value of higher education. And population demographics point to a decline in the number of traditional college-age students graduating from high schools. Along with those disruptive forces, we navigate these waters in the midst of a renewed civil rights movement and at a time in our nation where fear and polarization hamper our ability for mutual understanding and consensus. Institutions have certainly faced pandemics, calls for greater equality, and political division before, but I'm unaware of historical circumstances where all of these have come together at once. Just as you have struggled to absorb new information and make the best decisions for your families, I have wrestled with the correct path forward for Lise McRae. There is no leadership playbook for dealing with events that have no easy answers, and there is no magic formula for bringing together vastly different views about the current circumstances. As I've attempted to lead Lise McRae through the uncertainty and risks, both known and unknown, I've done so by trying to keep us rooted in our mission and our history. We are a residential and highly experiential campus with unique academic programs that place great value on personal connection and the direct engagement between faculty, staff, and our students. We are an institution of opportunity that loves and accepts all. And through challenging but encouraging attention, we enable students to become the best that they can be. We're grateful to be located in a safe, unequaled environment that allows us to embody our motto of in the mountains, of the mountains, and for the mountains. There are lots of things that could be stacked against us. But Lise McRae is beating the odds, and we're thriving in an environment that should otherwise be undermining our institutional foundation. Here are the highlights of our success and a note to our challenges. As you know by now, Lise McRae is doing all it can to have students on campus and engaging with our faculty in person to the greatest degree possible. We do our best work when our students are here and in class. And this year, our students and their families have clearly shown us that they desire the in-person experiential education that we offer. While some other colleges have seen significant enrollment and retention declines this year, Lees McRae has bucked that trend. All year, we hoped for a best case scenario equal to the 218 new students we enrolled last fall. On matriculation day in mid-August, we not only exceeded our hope of 218 new students, we celebrated 247 new members of the Bobcat family. Beyond admissions, we also saw retention of returning students achieve a new high of 69%, a nearly 10% increase over last year. Our two strongest institutional hallmarks are the personal touch of our faculty and staff and their great willingness to pull together for the success of the institution. Our enrollment successes are a direct testament to this character of our people the hard work of a truly professional team in our admissions office, and evidence of the uniqueness of Lees McRae programs and our offerings. That singularity in our uniqueness is the key to our thriving through the demographic challenges ahead. Having a robust campus community has certainly tested our ability to safely bring everyone together for our in-person classes. I encourage you to visit our Return to Campus website to learn more about our precautions for the year and to see how exactly we are working to keep everyone healthy and well. Our planning evolves daily as new information becomes available and as we learn from the experiences of our colleagues at other colleges and universities. The hard reality, however, is that COVID-19 is a silent and indiscriminate force that will undoubtedly affect our campus this year. I have confidence in our preparations, but it requires a mutual commitment from everyone to follow our wellness guidelines, and it requires institutional fortitude to manage potential outbreaks or admit it if margins of safety have been exceeded. We remain in close contact with local and state health officials 
and our team has developed clear criteria for when Lise McRae would say that it's unwise to continue with our in-person learning. Thus far, we have had a successful opening to the academic year. I'm grateful for the work of many who have put personal fears aside so that we can serve our students. The road ahead will have many twists and turns, but I remain confident that our mutual commitment to each other will allow us to navigate the challenges of COVID-19 successfully. Small colleges like Lees McRae can really shine in this time. And this is our moment to show that a resilient, strong community can balance safety and achieve its core mission. The uncertainty about the long-term effect of COVID-19 and the financial implications it may bring to the college can also be balanced by some other strong financial metrics we're seeing. Over the last two years, we have grown our endowment from $17 million to an all-time high of $29 million, an increase of 70%. The strong investment market has been beneficial to the college, but endowment fundraising has been equally strong, especially this past year. The endowment provides much needed support for student scholarships and general support to the operating budget. And while we are a long way from my ultimate goal of a $100 million endowment for Lees McRae, we are moving forward with intentionality to strengthen this financial foundation. We are seeing growing support from our alumni and friends, and current strong cash reserves will help navigate the unpredictable financial time ahead. To be truly secure in this new world, though, we must continue to grow enrollment to over 1,000 students and continue to manage our operations in a way that increases our financial resources. Despite the strong enrollment and retention news I shared earlier, our total enrollment this year is flat compared to last because we just graduated an exceptionally large class and we are still recovering from steep decline in our online population that first began in 2016. A steep rise in various fixed costs this year paired with necessary new expenses to enhance safety protocols for COVID-19 all add additional stress to our annual operating budget. I told our community last year that we would be in a two to three year period of stress on our operating budget while we grew enrollment, managed expenses, and strengthened our endowment. That statement continues to hold true, but I and the Board of Trustees are very encouraged that we are boldly moving the needle in these areas of financial strength. We still have a long way to go, and I ask for the community's patience as we continue to strengthen our finances and position the institution to truly thrive in the decades ahead. The strengths I've outlined will allow us to face this upcoming year with a keen eye on the long-term future. And we're choosing to invest in that future as opposed to sitting idle and waiting to see what happens. Our Board of Trustees just approved a major facility upgrade that will install artificial turf on Tate Field to benefit our soccer, lacrosse, and ultimately our student intramural programs. Many of you have heard about our facility master planning process, and I'm proud to announce our trustees are moving ahead with architectural design and funding plans for a full-scale renovation of our historic Virginia, North Carolina, and Tennessee buildings, including our beautiful Pinnacle Room. Restoring these buildings to protect their historical integrity and bring them up to modern standards to serve as a planned first-year living and learning community will further allow us to improve student retention and strengthen residents' life. Our long-term future also includes a true commitment to strengthening our diversity and doing more to support our underrepresented students and employees. As we spoke with our alumni, students, and others this summer, it is abundantly clear that Lees McRae, once and for all, must firmly plant a flag that fully commits us to protecting and advocating for diversity in all of its forms. A search is underway for a major new position that will bring intentional leadership to our diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. While we focus efforts on diversifying our campus, I call our community in this time of national polarization to a much higher level that allows for differences in opinion to be heard and respected. Pundits will continue to say the current environment and the uncertainty on the immediate horizon will be the knockout punch for small colleges with limited resources. For some, that just may be true, but it will not be the reality for Lise McRae. It will not be our reality because of each of you and your devotion to our mission. It will not be a reality if we continue to be entrepreneurial in our vision and determined in our pursuit of excellence. It will not be the reality if we choose collective courage and boldness over individual fear. 
And it will not be our reality if we individually choose to be in the boat, rowing with others toward an even stronger future. I ask you tonight to be in the boat with us. Ask yourself the simple question, what can I do to continue to help Lee's McRae thrive? Then pick up your paddle and join us. The state of Lee's McRae College is very strong. Together, we can make it ever stronger. Good night, and thank you for giving me this time with you this evening.